Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your update service is missing on Windows 11. So I imagine this can definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing we're going to do here is open up the start menu. So just go ahead and lock on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result should come back our registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, all you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Keep export range at all, and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And now we are ready to begin. So we're going to start by... So close out of the registry editor. And I will have a link in the description of the video to a pastebin file. I want you guys to copy it and then go up to the URL bar of whatever web browser you're using. I've used this pastebin file in another video that I posted. You can see how many times it's been viewed here. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and just copy this text. Right click and copy. And then you're going to minimize out of there. Open up the search. Type in notepad. Best match, say notepad. Go ahead and open that up. And then you're going to just paste in what I had on that pastebin file. So just paste it in there. Select File and then Save As. I'm just going to call this file Windows 11 Fix. Then I'm going to add a .reg on the end. Again, that's very important to so add a .reg. And then where it says Save As Type, go ahead and select the drop-down and select All Files. Save it to the desktop and then select Save. Close out of here. And now we have our registry value on our desktop. So go ahead and double click on it. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Select yes if you receive a registry notification. Select OK again. So at this point you can delete this value that we just ran. You don't have to have it on your desktop anymore. And you're going to go ahead and restart your computer. And now that you're back in the Windows, go ahead and open up the search icon. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of the video. The first one is a DISM command. So go ahead and copy that and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit, and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter. This will take a couple minutes to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once that one is done, type in the next command I'll have in the description of the video, or you can paste it in. It's just going to be SFC. It's just going to be SFC followed by space forward slash scan now. You can paste it in from my description as well if you prefer. Hit enter. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, you can close out of here. And you want to restart your computer. And there you go, guys. should be as simple as that. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you guys resolve your update service not being visible. And as always, thanks for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.